Welcome to the 2017-2018 academic year. It has been a busy summer throughout the world of Webster and we are excited for you to join us and enjoy some changes and enhancement throughout our network. We are pleased to welcome three new deans, with Simone Cummings leading the George Herbert Walker School of Business and Technology, Tony Walner leading the College of Arts and Sciences, and Michael Cottam leading the military campuses as well as online programs. If you are on the home campus in Webster Groves, you will notice a completely redesigned Marletto's dining space, an expanded parking garage, and the newest gem right here, the beautiful Browning Hall, the Interdisciplinary Science Building. Wherever you are in the world of Webster, whichever campus you call home, we encourage you to take advantage of the resources available through the Global University Library and the Academic Resource Center. They will help you be more resourceful, better prepared students for the challenges that lie ahead. This fall, we are also launching a new student success portal that will equip advisors to serve you better and to help you to stay on track to degree or certificate completion. All of these resources will help you whether you are in the classroom or online, where Webster's online programs were recently ranked number one in Missouri and number six in the entire United States. Did you know Webster University was also ranked as top for social mobility among schools in the St. Louis region and one of the most diverse universities in the United States. That's on top of several National Scholar Athlete Honors, a five-time National Championship chess team, and outstanding student academic achievements around the world. We are happy to share news of reaccreditation of our campuses in Athens, Vienna, and Accra and two brand new study abroad scholarships which are going to enable more students to go abroad. No matter at which of these campuses you find yourself, we hope you will benefit from the experience your student leaders had at this summer's Global Student Leadership Summit. As we hope that you saw in our previous message after the events in Charlottesville, it is our highest priority to cultivate a welcoming campus, one that it is inclusive and respectful of our differences. We may disagree on solutions, but as an academic environment, we must commit to our principles of respectful listening and debate on these issues. And we must accept and learn from our differences. We must embrace all human differences while building on what brings us together. We also must provide an opportunity to all students, faculty and staff to participate regardless of their differences. Only by engaging one another, we can make the most of our Webster experience. So please take this message to heart. Take advantage of the many opportunities this year to engage in critical conversations about diversity and inclusion and bring your own identity your own experience and your own perspective to the table to make Webster a better place. Thank, Thank you, you and, and have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful year. year.